Well, of course, one of the most famous chapters of the Bible is the beautiful Psalm 23. And it's a Psalm of David. And it's interesting because David is the king. We don't know when he wrote this, but the king is the shepherd over Israel in a sense. But David knew that he was an under shepherd because God would be the real shepherd of Israel. So he starts out his Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. And it says, I shall not want. What that means is I, I'm not gonna lack anything. God's gonna give me everything I need. He says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. What a beautiful idea here. We're the sheep, you know, he's the shepherd. He leads me beside still waters. This is what shepherds need to do. Make sure that they provide for their sheep. If a, an earthly shepherd does that for those little animals, surely God, who is our shepherd, who is in charge of all his providence, he knows how to bring us to just the right pathways and says he restores my soul. He takes care of me body and soul. My life, my life is in his hands. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. You know, he, he gives me to, to have patterns of life that would be good uh, for holiness. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. All over this world right now, this fading, uh, sad world, there's death. And there's everything that leads to death and there's despair and so there's disease, you know, there's, there's troubles. The world in every age is, is falling apart, right? But our God, he can have us walk through the valley of the shadow of death and, and we don't need to fear evil. Why? For you are with me. See, if God is with us and God is the author of life, if God is is the giver of every good and perfect gift. If he, if he is our father that we can call out to, uh, if he has all the love and also the power to do just what we need and the wisdom to know exactly what's right at any point along the way, well, then all we need to know is that he's with us. You're with us, you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So you're good, you're able to lead me and correct me which I need. Now, the illustration is going to change. We've had this pastoral illustration of a shepherd and sheep. Now we have a host and a wonderful banqueting table. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Right? So that I'm able to have peace. You know, I'm able to have this bounty. Even in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. So I'm the anointed of God. The king was the anointed. The priests were anointed. Prophets were anointed, not with oil, but with the Holy Spirit. But we're anointed in the one who is the anointed one, Jesus. So in him, we have this great gift of God from above. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. See, this is confidence. This is, this is the Judeo-Christian worldview. This is the confidence of one who knows that God is working out his holy and sovereign will. We can trust him. Goodness and mercy, they're going to follow me all the days of my life. I'm never going to get away from them. And something beyond this life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is what we need. See, because even if we have all the greatest help we could ever envision in this life, one day this life is over. Yes. Do you have an answer for what happens to you after this life is over. Well, we have the Lord as our shepherd. He came as the great shepherd of the sheep. He laid down his life for the sheep and he became the Passover lamb, the sacrificial lamb, 
So he's taking care of everything for us, but he's the shepherd who leads us and brings us to his heavenly home. And we can trust him now. We can trust him forever. I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Are you going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever? Boy, I, I hope so. Call upon the name of the Lord, you know. You dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father, thank you for the assurance that we have in this beautiful psalm that's been a strength to your people over so many centuries. We receive it as good news here today. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.